Hello everybody and uh, welcome to Pro Automation. This is Rahul and uh, today we'll learn to do message validation as part of locale testing. This video, uh, this is part one of the tutorial uh, and we'll be using property resource bundle. You can also refer to the video on managing configurable parameters using property file. So what's localization? As per uh, the Wikipedia, localization is the process of adapting internationalized software for a specific region or language by adding locale specific components and translating text um, too much of uh, technical things uh, yeah for a better understanding uh, let's check out uh, a website uh, which we are going to use in this demo for testing purpose okay so this is a official site for esco graphics and uh, it's basically into printing and packaging so being a global corporation the website uh, has to support multiple languages now here we can see uh, in this page it's uh, this is currently in English and if you scroll down there's a tab here where you can basically change the language so if, if I uh, select French and then you can see that the elements the components are still the same uh, pages and all but the messages the texts and all those fields are changing so basically in this uh, tutorial we'll see how uh, we are going to automate this and uh, similarly if I do it for German uh, the messages change it's now something attractive or Packingen Entwerfen in 3d uh, earlier it was some different message so we'll look into the uh, this uh, uh, website more when during the coding part and uh, let's move back to the agenda okay so uh, as an automation engineer uh, our task is to create a configurable module that can test these translation and uh, without much changes in the existing selenium scripts so in this tutorial we'll see how we can achieve this using simple methods provided by a properties class and this tutorial is in two parts and the first one will basically try to understand the locale what is a locale uh, we'll see how to use a property resource bundle and we'll also see how to configure languages for, from project property file and read the message in specific language during runtime uh, part two is uh, more about uh, optimizing the thing integrating it to the existing framework message validation and assertion and also reporting using extended reports and before we move to the coding part, uh, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell to get the updates on the latest automation videos. So on that note, uh, let's open the IntelliJ. Okay, so uh, this is uh, my IntelliJ and uh, this is the framework I was talking about. So uh, the first thing we have to do is, uh, very first thing, as I said, uh, we have to control the execution from automation property, project properties file. So the first thing you have to do is to we have to add two more key value pair uh, variables basically uh, language and country so this is very much required to create the locale and uh, to control the execution messages what kind of messages which language has to be accessed that we can control from here so if you want to uh, test it for english then default you can set it to en us and uh, Similarly, for French, it will be uh, FRFR and so on. Okay, so this is the one thing that you have to add in the property uh, file. And uh, you can also refer uh, to the video, uh, as I mentioned in the starting intro. Uh, there's a video for reading property file and all, um, and in which we covered this uh, AUT properties class. And we wrote all this logic for reading the property file. So you can go through that as well. Okay, this is the thing. Now the second thing is we have to create a resource bundle. It's very simple. You have to right click on your resources if you, and you go to new and you create a resource bundle. You can give any name to it. For this demo, I'll just give it as a locale test. Okay. And here's a small plus sign. You can basically add uh, how many languages you want. So I'll use it for German. So I'll just type DE and say OK and you can see it has added a German locale and uh, I'll un add another language as French FR OK and French is added I'll just say OK 
okay so you can see now uh, this locale test uh, bundle is created and these property files are also created these are empty so it totally depends on you uh, you want to test messages or link name or uh, those kind of things you can keep uh, the parameters here so for now i'll just create a key value pair i uh, will go back to our uh, website and uh, this uh, basically it's in german right now so i'll just copy this text here will in this uh, tutorial we'll just try to fetch the corresponding message uh, validations and all uh, the real implementation will be taken care in the next uh, coming upcoming video so i'll just uh, copy this text which is in german and uh, i'll go back to my intellij and i'll create the key one the first key value pair i'll say it's a home page and i'll just give message uh, uh, message one double zero one as a code and uh, i can press tab or you can also do a equals to here and just paste this this is the first message it's in german so i have added it to this de properties file now the same thing uh, i'll i'll go to this french thing and i'll copy this uh, text here from the french okay and i'll open this french file here and make sure you use the same key which you have used here so i'll just copy it here for now and uh, i'll copy this key and i'll place it here equals to okay so this is the uh, very important thing uh, all the keys should be matching the strength the value can change it's based on uh, the language this is german this is french now we have done two uh, we're done with two parts we are done with the automation properties here we have uh, said uh, let's make it fr fr uh, for french we'll also check it for german whether it's working so this is what first part where i have set the automation properties and then i created a resource bundle and then i just for testing i just put one text here from the german page and from the french page okay now we have to create a mechanism to read these messages based on this preferences we have set in the project property file so for that uh, under utility properties management i have created a class this is local message reader and it has basically three steps uh, you have to create the local object okay and then you have to load the resource bundle based on the preferences whichever you have to load either this one or this one and then you have to fetch the message corresponding to a code so we'll pass the code we'll write a method here and to that method we'll pass the code this code okay so across the scripts if if you have used this code okay so this will be common you don't have to change the script only the messages will change so the script will be very generic and there is no hard coded message in your script it uh, only this part will be there okay we'll see that in the execution thing um so we'll complete this uh, local message reader class so the first thing we need is to create a locale so for creating a locale uh, we need to read these two parameters so it's very simple uh, i'll just say uh, private static uh, string and uh, it will be language equals to and this uh, we have written this aut properties in our previous uh, demo you can refer that aut properties dot get instance dot get property and we'll just pass the property name here the property name is locale dot language okay similarly we'll uh, do it for uh, okay i think uh, by mistake i just executed something we'll do it for the country and instead of locale we'll pass country to complete it will show me country okay so we have got these two um, parameters 
don't get confused here if if you're not getting uh, from where this thing is coming up you can refer to the video i think uh, i'm i'm uh, i have mentioned it uh, quite a time couple of times okay so we have got these two things now we can also declare the uh, resource bundle variable so that's also uh, private i will make it static as well source bundle will name it as resource equals to null we'll assign it to null starting and uh, again locale also we can do as locale and equals to null okay so now we have declared the variables and we have also fetched the required parameters to set the locals now i just have to write a method to which if i pass the message code it should fetch me the message string so i'll write a method here and it will be a public one so that i could use it in my scripts across scripts so i'll say public and this is also static and it should return a string and i'll give the name as get string okay and the parameter to it will be code the message code okay so the first thing you have to do is to get the locale object right locale object so it's very simple uh, it's locale equals to new locale it's a locale class in java util and you just have to pass the language and country now this language and country are fetched from the automation property so now we are controlling everything from here okay so this locale is locale object is created now the next thing is we have to get the property resource bundle okay we have to load it so we'll say resource equals to uh, property resource bundle dot get bundle so which one do we have to get we have to get this specific one locale test which we have created so we have to pass the name like the same exactly the same name locale test okay and the second parameter is this locale that we have created i'll just copy this paste it here okay so we're done with the locale object and we are also done with the resource bundle the very important thing we just have to fetch the message and return it get the message so what i'll do i'll just say string message equals to i'll use the same resource it's loaded dot get string and i'll pass the code and i'll just trim it okay and the last step return return the message okay so we're almost done um, we have uh, fetched the parameters from the property file uh, we we have created a method to which if we pass the message code it should return the message specific to the language and we've created a locale object here and resources we have loaded the resource bundle by the whatever name is there which we have created and then we have fetched the message using this resource dot get string simple four lines of code that's it now we'll see if it's working or not very important thing so i've already written a test here or we can create a new test as well so in the demo scripts, I have created a locale test. It's completely empty. Uh, simple, just a test annotation of test ng I'm using. Anyway, I'm just uh, going to read it. So it's very simple. Uh, I'll just say string message equals to. Uh, this is locale message reader, right? So I'll just say locale message reader. Locale message reader. Dot get string. And which message do we want we want this so this is the key we'll just copy this key here and paste it here okay and uh, you can do a sys out generally you shouldn't <laughs> um, out dot uh, print message okay uh, basically you should use logger now you can use log logger uh, it's a um, better uh, the correct way of doing things you can use logger 
Okay, so let's run this and see if it's working fine. So in our property file, we have set it as French. So it's basically, it should read this value. Yes, test Swiss Wells 3D, size say sense. Okay, so we'll just run this locale test. Right click and run. Okay, so you can see this, uh, it has fetched the French message. So now, if I just change this here to French to German, okay, so I'll make it DE, DE, save it, and run the same test. So you can see this is still this one, right? I'll just run it. And you can see it has now fetched the message from this D property file, which is attractive or Packingen and Werfen in 3D, right? Okay, so yeah, so that's it. Um, we have created, uh, we have seen how uh, uh, this automation property we are controlling it from here. Just change the language and country code. Uh, we have seen how to create a resource bundle and uh, um, this managing this messages across. So you can see how the script is, uh, it's very generic, right? So you don't have to change the message. Nothing is hard coded here. You can use it uh, for various things. You can use it for links. You can use it for um, texts, uh, alert messages, uh, success message or failure messages, all those kind of things you can basically store in this way. And uh, uh, yeah, you can access it. So yeah, that's it for this uh, tutorial. Uh, in the next uh, video, we'll see how we are going to extend this. Uh, we can How we are going to integrate it to the framework, how we'll uh, verify things and uh, uh, reports and all those things we'll see in the upcoming videos. So yeah, uh, do subscribe to my channel, uh, don't forget, and if you like the video, share it with your friends. Have a great time. Thank you.